Hey guys, I'm back again with another video figure review. And this time I take a look at a Broly from Dragon Ball Evolve based on the uh, latest Dragon Ball Super movie. Of course, you see here's Broly right here. It says Dragon Ball Evolve, made by Bandai, ages four. I kind of find it hard to believe. And I had no idea that this box could actually fit inside the, the, the white box the packaging. Fit in this box. And here's the back of it. You see Goku, which I already have. I don't have Vegeta yet. But yet now I got uh, Broly. And this is just licensing. Uh, stuff right here. Alright, so uh, there's nothing special about this packaging. I mean, it's pretty good. You get the um, art um, of Broly right there. So yeah, and now I'm gonna unpackage you. Alright, so I'm back and uh, just got him open out of this box. So let me just give you a quick zoom. Alright, it looks so yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, Broly figure. Yeah, I'd say it's actually really highly detailed. You can see. Let me just zoom out a bit. You. Now, as you can see, um, of course, um, this is the Broly from the latest Dragon Ball Super movie and his articulation is kind of um, really impressive and before I get to his articulation I want to bring out someone of course here I got the Goku or Kakarot whatever you want to call it yeah, I uh, just did a, a review of him uh, like several months ago, and yeah, just do a size uh, comparison. And one thing I find really off about Broly is that he's basically the same height as Goku, which kind of seems wrong. I wish they made him a bit, um, you know, um, a bit taller than Goku. And he will also be more tall than uh, Vegeta as well. So yeah, uh, there's a full comparison. Oh yeah, and the thing I'd like to point out is that when I was reviewing Goku at the time, I didn't even notice that his legs could grow out that much. Yeah, I didn't really know it. It wouldn't make sense if he only had this. Like his, his leg will only go out with that, uh, that side, but not out. But now I know they both, they both legs uh, go out that much as well. So yeah, uh, here's Goku. Now Broly's articulation, of course. Now Broly has a good uh, range of articulation. Of course, as you can see, um, his arms go rotate right here. Here's the arm or the elbow. Here's the wrist. Go in and out. Of course, he doesn't come with interchangeable hands. Yeah, I know it's kind of a big letdown. So yeah, um, yeah, it's on a, wait, oh, just came off, just put it back in, kind of reminds me of the model kits that they've made from Bandai, of course here's the torso, it's on a ball joint of course, his head, from side to side, of course his legs, or it's not really a, a um, 
a double jointed, it's actually just a one jointed. Clay doesn't go out that much. There's the rubber, of course. And now his legs can go out that far. Almost like he's kicking uh, through a wall. Yeah, both legs can go out and side to side. I think, yeah, I'd say it would go out that much because it's limited on the, the waistcoat uh, rubber material. Yeah, you see. Swivel on the leg. Let's go up and down, side to side. Of course, this as well. Yeah, it's pretty good. On the back, really nothing much. His arms can go out that much. Just Try not to overstretch the arms, because then it's going to come off. You can put it back on. It doesn't really break, it just comes apart. You can do like a, a T pose. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Now, I don't have... just came off again. Uh, I don't have Vegeta yet, but... Um, if they, if I ever find Vegeta at some store, I, mean, I, I uh, found this at the uh, at Target. Uh, it's kind of cheap-ish. Yeah, uh, there was only uh, this probably at Target. There were no Goku or Vegeta. Only this one was actually available. So yeah. Uh, so if you enjoyed my review, please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, take care and I will see you all in the next review.